What's up guys, it's Chris, Christopher DAV1D on ECF, Air Vapor on YouTube. Today I have a review for Stormy, Stormy's Vapor Cellar and her Nada Tank, N-O-T-A. First, let me tell you a quick story. Uh, I had a business card of hers, but my three-year-old appears to have confiscated it with the rest of my e-cig business cards. So, I happened to stumble on the site and saw a big bulletin on the site saying $5 for a box of LR Bogue cartomizers. So I'm like, I got to get in on this. I was originally going there for the tank, so I'm like, let me get the tank and like five boxes of cardos. I order it. I go through with it. Get to the last page. Confirmation. Blah, blah, blah. I finish. Awesome. Hours later, I still haven't had a confirmation email. I'm like, I wonder what's going on. So I didn't think anything of it. Next day, I still hadn't had confirmation, so I emailed her. She's like, I don't have any record of your purchase. And at that point, all the Bogues were sold out. All the Cardos were sold out. She wasn't home, but she was pretty sure. And every time I went on the site, it was giving me insufficient quantity for the five boxes. Long story short, I went back and forth with her all day. She said, let me see what I can do. So I figured I was not going to hear from her again. And sure as anything, that night she te emails me and says, hey, I have three boxes here. If you jump on the site now... I'll put them back at that price that you paid or that you were gonna pay originally for five dollars because at this point they have gone back up to eight bucks a pack, and you just have to do it quick because somebody else might get them. So I tell her, okay, I'm ready. She sends me back an email saying I was too scared to put them up that you were gonna lose them, so I made a special juice on there. So it was like triple A juice for fifteen dollars, which is the same price as three boxes, which is all she had left. So she does that. I get them. The sale goes through, no issues. My point of the story is that what she did for the transaction just went above and beyond anything that she had to do. She, it ended up being my screw up on the confirmation that it didn't go all the way through and had nothing to do with her site or her issue. It was all me being a moron when I was trying to make the purchase. So I just want to say that before I do the review that the customer service over there is incredible. What she did for me on that purchase was something she did not have to do. She went through a lot of trouble on top of actually making a special category for me to go to to buy the Bogue LR Cardos that she had left. So I just want to say thank you and definitely hit the site up. The customer service over there is great. The prices are great. And this tank is great. Officially, this is the first tank I have owned. I have not been able to wrap my mind around the tank deal and paying $30, $40, $50 for one of these tanks. So I saw this one, and it's $10.99, I want to say. You can't beat that. So I said, screw it. If I hate it, it was 10 bucks. so who cares? I love it. This is my third tank full, and it works perfectly. Now, obviously, this vapor has nothing to do with the tank. It has to do with the cardo, but whatever. The other reason I hadn't bought a tank is 99% of them work off of the dual coil cardos, and I'm not a huge fan of the dual coils. I like them, but Bogue is my cardo lover. So, when I heard that there was a tank that actually used the Bogue LRs, I was all over it. The way the tank is made is two grommets, one washer, the plastic, which has a hole in the top right there, covered by the grommet for filling. I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to fill it and how to put it together and how really easy it is. Um, on there, it's called the Nada Tank. It's like not a Corvette, not a Mustang. It's like doesn't have the bells and whistles of the tanks out there. It's just a solid working tank that does not cost you an arm and a leg. And that's exactly what it is, just as described. Out of th three tank pulls, I haven't had a lick of leaking out of there, any leaking at all. I haven't had any gurgliness or flooding out of it. It just keeps the Cardo wet at all times and just perfect it's the perfect wicking in there no leaking it's not like some of the tanks where 
it twists and twists on your connection. I can push hard against the threads and it still won't twist the grommets. It stays. So you don't have to dual, do the deal like on the dual coils where you got to grab the cardo to pull it off. Like none of that. It doesn't slide. You don't have to worry about it sliding off in your pocket, filling your pocket with juice. It just works as described. No matter how many times you hit it, you never get a dry hit. And it just works perfect. I'm so stoked for this tank because I didn't spend $50 on it and it works like a freaking champ. So great job over there. I know she gives credit to somebody, uh, some modder on ECF, so whoever you are out there, was it Joker I want to say? I don't know, whoever. Great job on it. You know, it's not as plug and play as the other tanks are. For instance, you have to put the grommets together, but at the end of this video you're going to see exactly how to put it together and exactly how easy it is to do. So there's instructions on here, video, play by play, and exactly how you're going to put it together. So that's about all I got for now. Stormy'sVaporCeller.com. I definitely recommend you go over there and check it out. Incredible customer service. Just above and beyond what she needed to do for me is what she did do. So it's great to know that there's vendors out there who care about their customer service and care about their customers as much as they do over there. So again, thanks a lot. Please subscribe. Hit me up with any questions or comments. But as far as the tank goes, it's a total win for me. I plan on buying two more for my top three flavors so I can have in rotation ready to go because it works like a champ. Why am I going to spend $50 on a tank when I could spend 10 and get the same friggin' effect? I'm sorry. It aggravates me when you go online and somebody's selling a piece of plastic and two Delrin tips for $50 or $35. It's crazy. I appreciate the craftsmanship and everything, but like, come on, in this day, like, who can afford that for a friggin' tank? So now go there for like $10.99. You can get one that works identical as all the rest, except doesn't break the bank. For the price of one of those other tanks, you can buy three or four here. So again, hit up Stormy's Vapor Cellar. Stay tuned to the next part of my video, which is gonna be exactly how to put it together. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I am going to quickly try and show you how to put together the nada tank so what you're gonna need is your two grommets the tube um, your punched cardo a syringe with your juice which uh, comes with the uh, tank your juice obviously that's it so it tells you to boil the grommets with the washer, it, first let me say, there's a washer on this grommet, um, easily comes off. So when you get it, it's going to be two grommets and a separate washer. So you're going to put the washer onto one of the grommets after you boil it. However, you don't have to boil it. It's just a step that kind of loosens up the, or softens up the rubber, which has been sitting here so long, I don't think it's going to do me any good anyway. So it just softens up the rubber to make it a little bit easier. So you boil it for a minute, let them soften up, and take them out. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so now you've got your two grommets and the rest of your parts. What you're going to do is you're going to take the cardo and put it through the grommet with the washer. Connection pointing down. Get it as lined up as you can um, with the edge. I'm actually going to push mine up a little more because my the hole on my cardo is um, a little bit high. Okay, so once you have that grommet with the washer on your cardo, you're going to take your tank and you are going to push it in there. Make it as even as possible with the bottom, but at the same time, if it's not, it's not a huge deal. Um, Alright. 
shit, wrong end. All right. So, let's try that again. You're going to have a hole on one side of your tank. You're going to want the hole at the top, the grommet with the washer, you're going to want at the bottom. So, trying that again, we'll push it into the tube. All right, so I have that pretty well lined up. Not terrible, not perfect, but it's as good as it needs to be. Next, you're going to take your second grommet, dry that off, and you are going to push it onto the end of your cardo. Now, push it around the sides that does not have the hole on the tank, because you're going to need that hole, obviously. Okay, so that's basically put together. All I have is it not pushed fully down where the hole is, so I can easily fill it. Ah! Then, Camera. you're going to take your needle. You are going Camera. to listen to my screaming kid. Put it in there and fill. This takes a minute. I apologize. I go that place. I think we go that place. Okay. I go that place. Hey, come on. She gives you a really thin needle with this kit so you can get it in the hole. The only downside of that is if you have a VG juice, it takes a little while to get it out of the needle. All right, so that's good enough. I might have actually filled that a little too much. All right, so then you're going to take it. Let me wipe it off. And you are going to push the other end of the grommet in there so it covers the fill hole. And there you have a filled, not a tank, not that difficult. All you want is the fill hole to be covered by the grommet, and you are good to go. Put your, I'm actually impressed because they say when you're refilling a cardo that sometimes the juice will come out the bottom, and I didn't just have that issue. So that is how you put together and fill the not a tank.